What's up everybody and welcome to my review of the Old City Leviathan made by pre-mod softworks or something like that post-mod softworks although I reckon they ought to be called post-game softworks because uh, this game that they put out is a little bit strange and to be honest I think lacking in terms of what a game should include so anyway uh, when the game finally decides to load. Oh yeah, there's a lot of this, by the way. Blank uh, cutscenes, which just seem to have uh, noise in the background, but not actually any sort of visual. So, this is the first ever walking simulator type game that I've ever bought. And uh, I'll be fucked if I'm ever buying another one, because that is literally all there is to do in the entire game. Oh yeah, and this shit, which I'll uh, get onto in a minute. So, basically, um, on the Steam page for this game, it says for the description, The Old City Leviathan is an experiment in first-person exploration that focuses entirely on story. If uh, exploring for you is walking down a straight line corridor with very little to no branching paths, then okay, I guess that's exploring for you. However, for me, exploring is being able to actually, you know, go to lots of different areas and, you know, see something in the distance and think, oh, I wonder what that is, I'm going to walk to that. But unfortunately in this game you are pretty much set on one path with uh, no alternate endings, you know, no alternate routes that you can really take. It's just, you know, there's the start and you walk to the end basically. That's why it's a walking simulator. So anyway, as I was going to say to start with, pretty much this is a very atmospheric game which is probably its only... Um, kind of positive thing I can say about it, which I'll, I'll go on to in a minute. Um, it looks amazing, pretty much, and, you know, graphically, it's fantastic. Gameplay-wise, there's not a lot going on. So, as I pointed out earlier, this is one of my biggest issues with the game. Um, apart from walking about, the story is told through some... Um, narration by the main character who I have no idea who he is or what his relevance is um, and that's after playing the game start to finish but pretty much the entire story is told in these pages that are stuck kind of all around the game basically um, ever heard of an audio note you know uh, I think it's pretty safe to say that this game had a voice actor because you know the voice actor does some narrating in it Maybe you could have added in some audio notes as well. I'd be much more inclined to listen to an audio note than I would to stand there reading a note that's like printed on a wall. Unless it has something like a password in it or a code, which, you know, nine times out of ten is highlighted. So you can just open it up, be like, oh, there's a the code, and then close it again. All right, I don't text logs to me in a game I, I don't give two shits. I, you know, will almost never read a text note unless it's important. But, uh, oh yeah, you, there's there's no full damage, I guess, because I just dropped straight down that fucking thing. Um, see, look, he's narrating at the moment. You can't hear it very well because I'm talking over it, but the subtitles are there. Um, yeah, why not have audio notes? Why does everything have to be text? Okay, I... Play games to enjoy them and be immersed, not to stand there fucking having to read. Pa I mean, there's a lot of pages as well. There's a fucking ton of them. And of course, it tells like 99% of the story is through that. But I can't, you know, I can read. I'm quite capable of reading, but I just don't want to. Why the hell would I want to do that? You know, anyway. That's one of my main problems with this game, is the fact that the story's told through text notes and there's no audio ones, apart from the narration. Uh, the only other thing, which is the one collectible, which is these Solomon's notes, which just look like these weird little green boxes that you pick up, which again, are just more text notes. Look at all this! It's like a book of bloody text! 
Well, how am I expected to read all of this? I'm not interested in this. And I haven't even collected them all. Um, not that I could be bothered to anyway. Oh, that's the other annoying thing. In order to read them, you have to pause the game. And almost exit out of it, if you ask me. Which, you know, breaks immersion in a game that's meant to be all about immersion. Hmm. So anyway, as I was saying earlier... Graphically, this game looks absolutely fantastic. I mean, top marks for just all of the graphics in general are absolutely amazing. The ambience, the noise, the environments is all top notch. It's just a shame you didn't bother to do anything else with it. You see, look, more text in terms of uh, gameplay. But apart from that, the actual environments look fantastic. So one of the other issues I have with the game is the fact that despite being, you know, a very nice looking game as it was, it feels lifeless. And I know this is meant to be some old abandoned city or some kind of dreamy world, but unfortunately nothing moves. Like, apart from the doorways obviously, and you as the player, but almost absolutely nothing in the entire game moves there's no animation for anything other than the doorways and like you moving I mean later on there'll be like bushes and shrubs and trees and different things none of which move there's no animation for any of it moving it's just absolutely well it's just static pretty much the entire areas and all these environments just don't seem to move which makes it feel almost like you're walking for a movie set or like a prop town oh look there's some fire moving in the background over there hmm that's pretty limited um so you know it's almost like walking through a cardboard film set or something where you know it looks cool and realistic but whereas nothing moves it's you know Kind of strange. Also, there's all these frozen people about. Kind of like the uh, Pompeii victims or something. But, uh, yeah. Pretty creepy and weird. So, you know. In terms of the story as well. I've already mentioned this once. But I'll, I'll just recap on that. It's all happy and content. It's all pretty much explained through the text logs. Now, if you're willing to read them. I'm sure that the story explains itself fine. However, I wasn't, so I have no idea what the story behind this game is. So, you know, if you do want to know what's going on, you're going to have to do a fucking lot of reading. But, you know, for me, that just weren't happening. Okay, I have to do something in here. Uh, well, I have to walk to a certain bit or do something. Hang on. Um, there's no jump scares or anything scary, to be honest, in this game. Apart from, you know kind of spooky atmosphere, there's a few dead bodies, uh, there's lots of these frozen people, there we go, um, but none of them, like I said, none of them ever move or do anything, so they're just, you know, again, just like a lifeless prop pretty much, in fact they may as well be, uh, okay, so let's talk about a few other things, the length of the game, I think you'd be lucky to squeeze two hours out of this. Um, I beat it in one hour because I didn't... Uh, well, I started... Uh, to be honest, I did start reading all the notes and, and things on the fucking walls and everywhere else. Oh, let's see, there's a dead body. Hey, dead person. I can't even crouch. I thought you could crouch. Oh, never mind. Um, I did actually start reading all the notes. It was only when I realised how fucking many there were and everything I just decided okay I think I've read enough of these now <laughs> I'm just gonna you know hold the shift button to try and get to the end of the game faster but like I said you'd be lucky to get two hours out of it in terms of replayability I don't really think there is any I don't know why you want to submit yourself to this a second time um and really, for £7, I mean, I got it on a sale, it might be more or a bit less than that, I can't remember. Uh, but it was around about 7 to £10. There's a lot more things you could spend 7 to £10 on and get more than an hour's worth of enjoyment out of. So, you know, really, for the price, it's probably worth more like 2 
than fucking seven pounds. But anyway, and like I said, the length of it, it's not that long, to be honest. Especially if you just breeze for it. I don't know where I'm going now. Oh, I guess I'm going... I should have just kept going straight. Oh, whoops. Um, okay, so... What have, what have we discussed? We've discussed the graphics, the ambience of the game, and the environments, which are, you know, very, very good. It's just a shame there's no gameplay except walking from A to B and sometimes C. Story is, like I said, I don't really know because it's probably explained perfectly in all them text logs, but I'm just not willing to read them. Uh, should have had audio ones, period, pretty much. Um, okay. One of the other issues I have is the ending to this game. I've read on forums and apparently that is the definite ending, but I honestly think that the ending to the game is missing. As I said at the start, there's a couple of these sort of blank cutscenes where there's just noise in the background but no visuals. That's the end. That's the end cutscene. Or more like missing cutscene. The very end of the game is just a black screen with like fucking noise in the background and that's it. That's the whole thing. Why is there no ending? I'm not gonna go in that elevator because I I don't wanna fucking start the next level. Um you know I'll uh, I'll show a clip of the of the last cutscene right at the end of this video just so that you can see but it literally is just like you walk in and that's it like nothing happens nothing is explained it's just weird anyway this is sort of what a game would be like if eccentric artists made games like you know, oh, let's just strip the game down to its bare essentials, just what it looks like. It, who, you know, who needs gameplay? Just have the visuals. But anyway, um, as a rating out of this game, I give it a 10 out of 10 for graphics, a 0 out of 10 for the gameplay, and a 3 out of 10 overall, because it's just, you know, if do you really want to spend £7 on this, you know, just... Watch somebody else play it. Watch a walkthrough of it and save yourself some money and probably some time as well. Oh, look, there's another dead body. Um, and yeah, with no decent collectibles, no achievements, no trading cards, no anything like that, it's not worth uh, buying. You may as well just watch someone's fucking playthrough of it. Oh, look, there's one of the Solomon's notes. Oh, I've got Solomon's note. I've got... A fucking 10 page book to read that's honestly that's probably a more you know realistic option just pick up a book and read a book you might as well than play this game because there's hardly any difference to be honest so anyway that's my review of the old city leviathan um, let me know what you think about this game. I, I know there's a lot of people who like it It's got very positive reviews on Steam, but it's just not a game I would recommend or ever play again really so Anyway, cheers for watching. Uh, don't forget to share this video and go watch some of my other stuff as well. Okay. Thanks. Bye